Let me hear you say it loud and clear. that every one of you from now on you will begin to excel. Amen. Who is the one fellow that you will stand beside him or I say you are the one who will get my attention? Redemption Way. The Lord is going to surprise someone here tonight. Join Pastor E.A. Adeboye and other men of God every first Friday of the month as they lead multitudes of worshippers to the presence of God in the monthly Holy Ghost service at the Redemption Camp, kilometer 46, Lagos Ibada Expressway, from 6.30 p.m. to 10. You're watching Redemption Way.
Leviticus 25. Verse 10. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. From verse 39. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxing poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. But as an higher servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. The first thing about Jubilee is freedom. Freedom of movement. Freedom to make progress. Freedom to be fruitful. Uh, when you read Exodus 21 verse 4. Exodus 21 verse 4. The Bible says. Somebody who is in bondage cannot even choose a wife for himself. If his master gives him a wife and he produces children, both the wife and the children belong to the master. There are some people who are of marriage age. And there is no husband anywhere in sight. And some men, old men, no wife in sight. Because of the year of Jubilee, whatever is standing between you and marital bliss, shall be destroyed tonight. Anyone who is in bondage, he will walk without pain. He just keeps on walking for his master. But the moment the year of Jubilee comes. He can now begin to walk for himself. He can now begin to prosper. All of you who have been walking like an elephant and eating like an ant, because of this day of Jubilee, the tide will turn for you in Jesus' name. Freedom to worship God as you like 
with what you have to the extent that you want to there are many people who want to worship God but they are limited by circumstances there are people who want to sing and praise God but there are certain things in their lives that people can point to and say you say your God is the Almighty what about this problem in your life? What about this reproach in your life? Anything that had been closing your mouth that didn't allow you to worship God to the fullest of your capacity. In this day of jubilee shall be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Freedom to go out to come in to engage in any form of business freedom to marry freedom to produce children freedom to worship God freedom to serve God I know a lot of people who would love to build churches for God? But they themselves are tenants struggling to pay their rent. I, I decree to you tonight everything you need to serve God to your heart content. In this year of Jubilee, you will receive in Jesus' name. Another thing we see about the year of Jubilee is restoration. Another word that keeps cropping up in, rest, in Jubilee is restoration. And restoration means you had something before you lost it but you get it back so when we talk about restoration it could mean restoration of health it means once upon a time you were healthy strong then somewhere along the line you lost your health. When Jubilee comes, it brings restoration of health. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17, Jeremiah 30, verse 17, God said, I will restore health unto you and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Now when God says I will it is already settled. So I'm in total agreement with God that all of you who had lost your health before the sun rises you will get your health back in Jesus. Jesus. In Luke chapter 6, verse 6 to 10, Luke 6, verse 6 to 10, Luke the Bible talked about a man who had a withered hand. Withered hand means 
says the hand was home once upon a time. But then it began to wither. Then Jesus came in and restored the hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever part of your body is withering, today shall be restored whole in Jesus' name. In Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34, Mark 5, 25 to 34, the Bible tells us the story of the woman with the issue of blood. When the problem started, she thought she was just menstruating. But when the thing should stop, it didn't stop. She was rich before. The Bible says she spent all she had. Her health was withering. Her wealth was withering. But one day, a day of jubilee came. And in a single moment, what she had lost was fully regained. I speak to somebody here in the name of the Lord of hosts. Your health shall be restored in Jesus' name. Restoration can also mean restoration of your position in society. Only In Daniel chapter 4. Daniel Thank you, Lord. The Lord said there is somebody here tonight. He said, you are the only light in a family full of darkness. The Lord asked me to tell you, through you, I will change the story of the family. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said the source of sorrow in your life shall undergo a transformation. Hallelujah, Father. <laughs> the Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said you have a saw at the at your back that had refused to heal. Lord asked me to tell you, check, the saw is already gone. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said, the one who is withholding your inheritance will let it go now. Daniel chapter 4. Daniel, you carry verse 28 to 37. Tells us the story of Nebuchadnezzar. Also, he told Nebuchadnezzar if you are he lost his position in society. He was a king. He became an animal. But his day of jubilee 
And God restored him. He restored his senses. He restored his kingdom. He restored his glory. He restored his honor. I say to somebody here today, you who have been highly respected before, the circumstances had reduced you to somebody nobody cares about. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, before the end of this month, you will have full restoration. Restoration can mean the restoration of wasted time, wasted years. Joel chapter 2 verse 25 to 27 the almighty God promised Joel chapter 2 25 to 27 he said all the years that the canker worm had eaten he said, I will restore them to you. When people say that opportunity once lost can never be regained, they didn't take God into consideration. With God, all things are possible. And I'm decreeing to those of you, particularly the old ones in our midst all the years that you have lost shall be restored back to you in Jesus name everything that Satan has stolen from you you will get them back in Jesus name when you read Job chapter 42, verse 12 to 17, Job 42, verse 12 to 17, when God brought a restoration to Job, everything he had lost, God restored several fold and then he gave him extra years oh, to enjoy them once again I'm saying to the older ones here those who are expecting you to die soon shall be disappointed And God can restore destiny. He can restore lost dreams. He can restore lost visions. When your day of jubilee comes, Take the example of Moses. When he was young, when he was a strong man of 40, he wanted to deliver Israel. Wanted to use his power, his position to deliver Israel. But he made a mistake. And he became a fugitive for 40 years. But in Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 15, Exodus 3, verse 1 to 15, after 40 years, the day of Jubilee of Moses came. And the dream he had 40 years before, 
division of a national leader that he had 40 years before. The man who thought he was going to be a deliverer, who became a fugitive. Within one day, total restoration came. I decree to somebody here today your lost dreams, your lost vision, your lost opportunities, your lost ambitions shall be fully restored to you in Jesus' name. Some of you had, have had me tell this story. 1951. 1951. In my little village. In those days, only two lorries came to the village every day. One is Austin, one is Bedford. They come back with the Austin. More is a KG, Bedford. You can count the total number of people who had shoes in my village in those days. They were less than 10. One day, Lord Jokon, the Anglican bishop came from Ibada to visit the little church that was there in my village. And we students, uh, pupils in the school, we lined the route. The hunters were firing their dingoes to welcome the bishop. The bishop his car was black and shiny. I saw his robe. Beautiful. When he was coming out of the car, I look at his pair of shoes. Beautiful, shining. And everybody was struggling to bring in gifts, eggs and chicken and yams. My mouth was wide open. When I got home that day, I told my mother, I'm going to be a bishop. The <laughs> bishop My mother, my mother laughed and patted me on the head. He has passed. He has passed. I even stopped going to church. I drifted into several other things. My ambition changed completely. Somewhere along the line, Jesus found me. And then 1981, 30 years later, as General Vasya, I've just become General Vasya of Redeemed. And I went to visit our little church, Redeemed Church, that was in Ifewara there. And the people of the town wanted to honor me. So the Children in this primary school, they lined the route. The hunters were firing their guns. 
The drummers were beating their drums. My car was new, black, shiny. <laughs> My shoes were new, shiny. And as I drove in the town, and I saw what was happening. I remember 1951. The dream of 30 years came to pass. I said to somebody here today, all your dreams, all your ambitions, all your aspirations, they shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Jubilee spells relocation. It doesn't let too much see a The one in bondage is to go free. Anything Go back to your family. Your Go back to your possession. Your Move from where you are to where you ought to be. She go pada kuro di bito wa yi lo si bito ye ko wa gan. In the year of jubilee, ni odun idasile. When the jubilee of Moses came, ni pati ni odun idasile ti Moses de. God moved him from the backside of the desert. Oh Lord, wa mu pada kuro di no ashale. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 1, he was at the backside of a desert. And God moved him from there and put him in the center point of history. Wherever you are today, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that the God of Jubilee will move you to where you ought to be in Jesus' name. God will relocate you in Jesus' name. He will take you to a higher level in Jesus' name. Joseph was in prison. But in Genesis chapter 40, verse 13. Genesis 40, verse 13. When his day of Jubilee came. God relocated him from prison to the throne. Before you were born, God had a place in mind for you. He promised in his word that you will be head, not tail. Because you are still alive to today. That place that God is mark for you. He will take you there in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter even if the world has written you off. They have written off Lazarus. What he Lazarus? In John, John 11, 39 to 45. John 11, 39 to 45. When Jesus Christ said, take away the stone from the tomb. The sister of Lazarus said, it is too late. It's been dead for four days, by now he's Thinking. 
There's nothing more anybody could do for him. But God relocated him. He relocated him from the grave. And turned him to a celebrity. Every one of you that the world had written off. That they said there's no hope for you. That you cannot become anything. Because of the year of Jubilee. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even before the end of this year. Your celebration will begin. Amen. Thank you, Father. The Lord said there is someone here. And all you are saying. Is, what do I do with this mountain that refused to move? The Lord asked me to tell you, I will fly you over the mountain. I decree to all of you who are here tonight a new beginning of success of progress of victory of promotion shall be yours in Jesus name now jubilee is by divine decree that's what makes it so beautiful it is not as if uh, the owner of the slave wants the slave to go but when God says this is what must be Nobody can stand in his way. If God says you are going to be free tonight, all the forces of darkness in your father's house cannot do anything about it. Because one God says, let there be light. We don't have to vote about it. Ah, dilo lati dibo ni pare. We don't have to discuss it. Ah, ti e lati si awa we need to. When he says let there be light, tigba to so pe ki imale ke o wa. There will be light. Imale le lati wa. When he says Adeboye be free, tigba to so pe ki Adeboye o di obinira. He becomes free. O di obinira ni to to. And God is saying to somebody here tonight. Olorun wa so fun enikan ni yi la leyin. Be free. Di obinira. Maybe you didn't hear me. Oh, yeah, oh, go me. I said God is saying to somebody here tonight. Oh, so so be free. Oh, be, nera. be free from sickness. Oh, be, nera. be free from sorrow. Oh, be, nera. be free from failure. Oh, be, nera. be free from retardation. Oh, be, nera. be free. Oh, be, nera. Be free from barrenness. Be free from fruitless efforts. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be free. Psalm 33. Verses 8 and 9. The Bible says, Let the whole earth fear before God. He said, Because he speak and it is done. Once he says it, it is done. Now, quickly, like when we talk about the year of Jubilee, people think that it must compulsorily be 50 years. And we are we but when I study the Bible, I find that for different people, the day or, or the year of Jubilee could be different. 
pe fun opolopo awon eniyan odun idasile ti won tabi ojo idasile ti won o le de ki adoto odun ki o to pe in john chapter 5 ni inu we johanu ori kanu verse 2 to 9 ese ikeji si kesan john 5 verse 2 to 9 we johanu ori kanu ese ikeji si kesan the man by the pool of bethesda okunrin to wa le ti adagun we do bethesda it was a captivity for 38 years odun meji ti logoji lo fu wa ninu igbegun is jubilee came after 38 years odun idasile ti re de leyin odun meji di ni ogoji in john chapter 9 ni we johanu ori kesan verse 1 to 7 ese kini si keje john 9 verse 1 to 7 johanu ori kesan ese kini si keje in the story of the man born blind o ni pa ti okunrin ti a bi ni afoju ni who sight god restored to him his year of jubilee came after 40 years he looked at him verse 10 to 17 looked at him verse 10 to 17 in the story of the woman who was bent who could not lift herself up the devil bound so that she couldn't lift herself up. Her year of Jubilee came after 18 years. In Exodus 21, verse 1 to 6. Exodus 21, verse 1 to 6. We find that the year of Jubilee for some people could come after seven years. Because Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 to 20. Daniel 2 verse 20 to 21 say it is God who controls time and seasons he will decide what he wants to do when he wants to do it so you may be 10 years old or 20 or 30 or 60 or 70 your jubilee will come tonight different people different year of jubilee different hallelujah I want to say amen to this one before I tell you. Professor, I see you too so funny. The Lord said, "There's someone here tonight." He said, "What you have lost in the past ten years?" You will recover all in less than one year. I want to say amen to this one too before I tell you. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said a new dimension of world influence begins in your life tonight. Let me get out of the way because we need to pray our way into Jubilee. Our God is the God of Jubilee. He loves to set the captives free. He wants everybody to enjoy a release. He wants everybody to be given an opportunity to start afresh. He can decree liberty to the captive. But he will never violate your will. 
life in Exodus 21, verse 2 to 6. Exodus 21, verse 2 to 6. He said, Some people are free to say, We don't want Jubilee. But the owner of the slave says, Slave, you can go. And the slave can turn to the owner and say, I am not going. In other words, you have a choice. Here is Jubilee. The table is set before you. Freedom is there. Release from captivity is there. A new beginning is there. Joy of speech label is there. Fruitfulness is there. Open doors there. I say you are free to say I don't want it. And I'll tell you a story. In a town somewhere in Ocean State, there was a very wealthy man. But he had been very, very evil. He got everything he got by evil means. And God looked down from heaven. Out of his great mercy. I said, let me give him an, an opportunity to be saved. So he sent someone to him. That one told him about the story of salvation. That the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sins. All you have to do is surrender to him and he will save your soul. It doesn't matter what evil you have done, he will forgive. He was silent for a while. And then turn to the preacher. Who was God? You see any two was He said, Thank you very much. I've had everything you said. Take all my children. Let them follow Jesus. He said, But for him, he said, It is too late. The preacher said, no, 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 as long as we are still breathing, it's not too late. He said, thank you very much. Yeah, oh, she gone. He said, but I don't want. He said he has spent most of his life with the devil. He would like to continue and end it with the devil. He died a few weeks later. God offered him a jubilee. He threw it away. God is offering someone a jubilee here tonight. Please don't refuse it. So if you are here and you up to this moment you are still living in sin. My God is saying come let me save your soul. Let me give you a new beginning. 
no matter how terrible your past has been, I will wash you and you'll be whiter than snow. He said, but I won't force you. It is a choice you have to make yourself. So if there's anyone here in this congregation and you want to surrender your life to Jesus now, come forward very quickly and Jesus will save your soul. The Lord is going to surprise someone here tonight. Join Pastor E.A. Adeboye and other men of God every first Friday of the month as they lead multitudes of worshippers to the presence of God in the monthly Holy Ghost service at the Redemption Camp, Kilometer 46, Lagos Ibada Expressway, from 6.30 p.m. to dawn. Join us on this same station at this time next week for another wonderful experience as Pastor E.A. Adeboye exposes the deep mysteries in the Word of God.